This week on Game On, we speak with players and coaches from Echuca United and Moama after their first finals hit out. Moama's Cooper Barber, Echuca United's Zach Majacek and United's Elf Lawrence each share their thoughts post-game. We have previews for all the weekend's finals. And our handball competition comes to a close. This weekend we kicked off the elimination finals of the Murray Football League. We had Echuca United on the Saturday and Moama on the Sunday. We'll start with Echuca United and it was a very disappointing loss, a very disappointing way to end the season against Baruga with a 98 point loss and it really did end pretty quickly for United. They fought well early and did impose themselves well at the stoppages to sort of make some sort of an impact but once Baruga was able to tidy that up, really just too much for um, United to even sort of compete with really. 14 goals to 2 after quarter time, and Baruga is in sensational form, so they are a side to um, really look out for going forward. Perhaps, maybe we should have seen it coming. I mean, United's last sort of 4 to 5 weeks has been pretty scrappy, and look, that last loss to um, New Merca by more than 100 points really, I guess, probably knocks some of the confidence out of the list going forward, too. Look, there's plenty to work on for United in the preseason. I think they've been shown where the, um, where the top of the league sits at the moment in those last two weeks. Two sides really putting them. Um, to the sword really. Dwayne Houston, he deserves recognition, an absolute champion of the club and his 200th game, obviously a disappointing result, but he was named the Eagles best player in the loss. We also had the chance to catch up with Zach Majek after the game to get his thoughts. I think inside we had a realistic goal of probably making finals and, and going a bit further than what we what we have this year. Um, every team, whether it be netball or football, made it, so um, very positive year. Obviously disappointing for the 2 p.m. game to finish this week and the under 17s, but we still got the, the 12 o'clock game and the 14s tomorrow. So starting off, uh, very positive. Um, as it went on, I think it was Barug around 10. Uh, I did get a little bit of an injury, and that has kind of plagued me for the rest of the season. Um, so disappointing in that regard on a personal note, but um, to play as much footy as I have, um, it's been yeah, it's been good and a great club to be around. Like coming from Tassie, obviously I only knew basically a couple of people when I come up here. Uh, very, very good club, very family orientated. Uh, welcome in um, perfectly, and yeah, it's been it's been great. Uh, I will be here, so uh, that's uh, already a definite. Uh, not speaking about anyone else, but uh, I think there there will be a few that stay on. Obviously. Um, We've got a new group. Uh, you can't just be around here for one year and, and um, throw it in, um, especially with all the um, progression that we've made throughout the year. So, Well, thank you very much for that, Zach. We'll move across to the other elimination final, a much more positive result with Moama posting a huge 54-point win against Moala. Look, they looked superb the most. They looked polished in every area of the ground. There was a little period in that first quarter where they copped about three goals in a row, but after that, they really never looked like losing and they didn't really look like um, they were too threatened by Moala. You could probably highlight every area of the ground as a positive for Moama. The backs were absolutely fantastic. They, they absorbed a lot of pressure in the second quarter. Didn't really give up too many scores, and particularly Logan Power. He's kept Ashford to his two worst games of the season. Two goals in the... Uh, home and away encounter and one goal on the weekend. Just a fantastic performance from him and I guess the backs in general, the back six looking absolutely brilliant at the moment. The midfield fantastic too, Reese Archer kicked four and he had a ton of touches too and Noel Wheeler, he gave fantastic run across the ground and up forward, super dangerous as always, Tyler Jones six goals and he probably dished off another three or four too. Look, it's just a super team effort from Moama, really balanced across the board and if they can play like that, there isn't really a reason why they, their season shouldn't be going a little while longer yet. We did have a chance to catch up with Cooper Barber as well to get his thoughts on Sunday's game. Yeah, yeah, really exciting. So, um, a few of the boys, you know, it might be the last year, so it's good to have another week with them. It's really exciting, yeah. I don't know, I think we played pretty well as a team. We pretty physical. Usually those boys can bully us a little bit, but we um, kind of matched them for that. And it was, uh, our first half was really good. I think the pressure and stuff, we matched them real well. Young Logan down back, he's um, keeping one of the best forwards in the league. So I think one goal, I mean, he's done a great job, hasn't he? Oh, he was unbelievable. Did it last time too. And, did the exact same thing. He's unbelievable. He's yeah, he's done a tremendous job. Um, oh, I reckon, oh, I reckon we're up for it. I reckon we can go all the way. Um, had better last time, and I think we had a bit of a lazy first half. So I reckon we can match him for that. But I reckon, yeah, we're, we're a fair chance. 
Well, looking into the finals we have coming up at Moama, they've got a really big job against Baruga. They'll be heading to Namurka on Sunday. And look, it's going to be a massive game there. But look, Moama, they're showing the form to take it all the way this year. Um, and, you know, it's going to be a bit of a grudge match between Moama and Baruga. They did meet in last year's semi-finals. Moama was able to get the win over the Hawks then at King Gupna. And they'll be looking to do the same thing again on Sunday. But Baruga, they are looking really dangerous this year. They had a pretty easy win over Chuki United and Moama had a lot more challenging task I guess you could say against Moala so that could prove a disadvantage for Baruga in the end. Um, you know Tyler Jones also he's starting to show some really good form for Moama and he'll be one to really step up and um, kick goals for them again as we're expecting on Sunday. Logan Power he was really strong in defence and he's going to have a really tough job again this week against some really big forwards like Spyro Vigalis and Tyrone Downey who are just you know pretty unbeatable for the Hawks um, but you know Baruga in their last encounter they did get the win by nine points um, but you know Moama they have improved since then so hopefully they'll be able to continue on in finals across in the Heathcote League Leachville Gumbau they'll be looking to redeem themselves from last year's grand final loss to North Bendigo. North though they'll be coming off some pretty good form against Huntley. It wasn't as big of a win as we've seen them do this year so hopefully that's some um, good signs there for Leachville Gumbau and they'll also be going in pretty confident having won that semi-final against North Bendigo. They will be without Michael Pilcher though which is pretty disappointing not only for Michael but for the club. He's been an absolute um, gun for them this year and they'll be deeply missing him on Saturday. Um, and then in the Pecola and District League, it's going to be another grand final rematch between Pecola United and Strathmerton. Pecola, they'll be looking to go back to back. But performance-wise, I think Strath has been the more informed team this season. And Pecola, look, they've only played once in three weeks, so they could be a little slow off the mark, but they know what it takes to win a grand final. And they've got still a few players from last year's um, grand final who will be looking to get that back to back and hopefully take that... Um, motivation into the game. Um, they'll be looking for a full contribution from all 22 players to get the win there. A few weeks ago, our under-14s competed in the Echuca Fashion Centre, where we're first handball competition's grand final. Yeah, look, to Gala's Matt Harris, he was our first champion. He'll be taking home $150 to Echuca Fashion Centre. Let's see how he got there. Okay, so welcome to the grand final of the Echuca Fashion Centre, where we're first handball competition, playing for some big bucks from the Echuca Fashion Centre. Let's meet today's competitors. Matt Harris from Tongala. Brody Lloyd from United. So well done to our grand finalist. We had Brody Lloyd from Duke United with a score of 16. Our runner-up is 100 bucks for you, mate. Jeez. There you are. And then from Tongala Footy Club, we had Matt Harris, who's our winner, with a big score of 24. $150. There you are, mate. Well done, boys. Let's go. Well done, Matt. Well, we'll go straight into the netball this week, into the finals of the GVL and Echuca's A grade. They are out after going down to Shep United, but Shep United's given them the double chance. They'll be looking for their fifth premiership win. Look, they've redeemed themselves, though, from last week's game, Echuca, and a game they'll be pretty happy to go out on, disappointing nonetheless to lose. Um, they were up all the way. They led by two in that last quarter, but then they just sort of um, dropped in their concentration. They, a few... Sh um, misfired passes which Shep United were able to capitalise on saw them go down by six goals in the end. It's a good learning curve for such a young side though um, to play in an A grade grand final uh, sorry, an A grade final in the GVL is quite an impressive thing um, and it's something all the girls can take a lot of experience from. Erin Hill she was their best player, she just dominated every area of the court and it was a work rate off the ball which Casey Frame their coach was most pleased with Still be pretty happy with the season though and to make
make finals in itself is quite an achievement for such a young team. Across in the Murray League, Anachuki United, they had a pretty convincing win over King Gupner. Um, they're through to the next round of finals. They'll play Denny on Sunday at Namurka. It will be a tight contest there. United, they've seemed to have the upper hand over Denny Nilliquin when it comes to finals, but and they won pretty easily earlier in the season. But Denny, they will have Beck White back, who is just formidable in that goal circle, and she brings a massive boost to the Rams. Um, and, you know, to come off a pretty easy win by 26 goals in that first final, I think they're looking for a pretty big hit out to be able to match with the team still in final. So they really need to lift that intensity again. But look, their defensive pressure was just un incredible. And they were able to play really strong and get a lot of turnovers in the middle of the court, especially from Bree Bookham and Liv Bish. They just seemed to turn the ball over, which enabled them to get that lead, which they then pushed out for the whole game. Again, they, they'll be needing to build on that intensity, which is what Coach Al Florence said when we caught up with her after the game. I'm here with coach of Patricia United, Al Florence, after a pretty good win over King Gubner. Glad to get that one out of the way, Al. Absolutely. Yep. It was good to get the first week of finals out of the way, but we've still got things that we need to work on, so we'll be looking forward to getting to training and getting those um, ironed out before the next couple of weeks. So it was a pretty impressive win in the end. Did it feel like finals netball out there? Look, we asked the girls to have um, a nice calm start and that's what they did. So we were able to build on that probably until the third quarter. But we need to lift our intensity if we're going to match it with the teams that are still in the finals with us in the next couple of weeks. And are you looking forward to those next couple of weeks and, and, and building on um, this game? Look, absolutely. You play um, netball to play finals. So we're hoping to keep pushing and keep working hard and see how far we can get. And there's talk of the three, Pete. Do you think these girls have it in them? Look, we just focus on taking each week um, as it comes and we are a new squad. So so what's in the past is in the past, so we're just focusing on this year. Well, thank you very much for that, Elle. Staying in the Murray League, we have an absolutely massive game which will be played in Baruga this Saturday with Moama and Tongala clashing for a spot in the grand final. You'd have to think Moama will be fired up for this one. Tongala, obviously the only team to beat them this season back in round 14. That day, Tongala, they moved the ball really patiently. They didn't make mistakes with that pressure, the defensive pressure that Moama has made an absolute trademark this season. They also kept really cool under pressure Tongala, a really close game late on. They handled the pressure the better of the two teams and were able to grab that two goal win. Definitely something Moama really a lot, given them a lot to think about. I do think Moama needed that loss though. Uh, when a team keeps winning, you sort of, you, don't, you know, you make little errors and you just don't concentrate quite as hard as you need to. I think they definitely have been sharpened up a bit by that loss. And it looks like they've been back to their best in their recent couple of wins. The attitude too coming from the coach Charlotte Long was she was thrilled to be playing Tongala. She really wanted the chance to try and get one back on them and really show that they have improved and I guess that they are the best team in the league. It's been um, a fantastic season for Moama as we know so I, look it's a, really about capitalising on all that promise and potential that they've got. This weekend will be huge in deciding that. Tongala did win by a cool 76 goals last time they played against Rumbalara. So look it's very hard to know what to expect from this weekend's game other than a very close match. Well, that brings us to the end of another show. Be sure to tune into riverinherald.com.au and our Facebook page next Thursday for another episode of Game On. And grab your copy of Monday's Rift to check out if you are the American hotels facing the crowd. And of course, we'll have all those previews for finals in Friday's edition of the Rift, so be sure to grab that one as well. Stick around now for all the best photos from the weekend taken by our fabulous photographer, Luke Hammer.